Hey guys, this is Josh from Akabatatheme.com. Today I just wanted to go over the Amazon disclosures and disclaimer um, and where it needs to be located um, according to the FTC and Amazon. Uh, it's supposed to be conspicuous. It's also supposed to be um, before anyone has a chance to read your content um, and hit a link that would take them out. So a big issue currently right now is that if you're reading a post and you're going through, the legal information is over here, which on desktop is fine, right? Because it's over here. You're probably not going to have a link immediately necessarily before they can have a chance to read it. But what happens is, especially on mobile, is the whole sidebar gets plopped below the post content, which means nobody will ever see the legal information before they've read the entire article, made a click, and left which means they never got the legal information. And that's really against the FTC's rules. And Amazon has to follow their rules. And by which that means you have to follow their rules. So I have two methods. There's one that's a CSS version. So just using the styles, which allows you to drop in this into your custom CSS. And you'll have it uh, put there on your page. There's a second version of the CSS that I also have, which is this one. So there's two different locations. You can either have it above where the header is, or you can have it below where the written by section would be. So you can kind of uh, choose based on your personal preference where you think it fits better also. And then <clears throat> I also have a version, if you look on akabatotheme.com, that actually shows it like this, which actually includes a link where you can actually <coughs> link to any page that you would like to link to, but it still has the same disclosure, <coughs> but uh, this allows you to route it to a specific page if you have way more details. So um, if you need to cover other than Amazon and ClickBank and maybe you know whoever else you need to cover, you can route them over there, right? But you see it's before the content comes in. This one is done via a code snippet instead. So this is an actual chunk of code inserted into WordPress for you. So they're a little bit different from one another. Um, I kind of prefer the snippet version because I can control it. If you go into code snippets, it's really nice because you get to name them what you want to name them. So you can easily tell what you have turned on and what you have turned off. But right now what we're going to do is go add in the post version so you can kind of see what it looks like on this page and then we'll add the one that's after and we'll see which one you guys kind of like the most so before the post we can use post and before so what we'll do is just copy this and I'll put both of these in the description just so that you have quick access you can go down to your custom CSS which is in Akabata settings, Akabata settings and it's about two-thirds the way down for custom CSS and you just paste it in there um, the code can be changed. You can change your wording. This part really comes directly from what uh, Amazon wants inside their um, terms of service part. Uh, I think it's like section five. And then it's just, uh, I, I said if, that we make purchases through this website. We may get a small share from Amazon and other affiliate programs. You can obviously update and change the text a little bit. Um, and then all I can do inside here is make text. So you can just see, so you can read legal more information or legal information for more details, right? But you can't link to it. What we did is align this <coughs> content in the center, uh, use the built-in font, some uh, margin and padding to kind of uh, push it in a little bit and make it a little bit uh, more focused than the text. Uh, you can change the font size here. So <coughs> somewhere between 12 to 14 looks nice. And then... <clears throat> the background, right? And the background is uh, part of that same FTC rule is that it has to be called out. Like it really has to be separate from the text. You can't just bet, embed it in the middle of your text. Uh, that's not okay from the FTC side. So you couldn't just have a text like this and then text like this that's inserted below that says that you're an Amazon associate, but it blends right into everything else. Because if somebody's skimming, they're never going to see it. It's not going to call out to them. It has to be conspicuous. So I'm going to update right now, which will give us the post version. So this is the post before version, right? So we'll refresh. And what you'll see is it comes in above the header, right? So most of the bigger sites will run it kind of like this, and they're not really worried about it. And it's actually shown through lots of um, overall uh, reading online that 
having the disclaimer up top actually can help increase your conversion because people understand <clears throat> where you're coming from. So they know your biases and they can use it when they make their decision. <clears throat> and now what we'll do is we'll switch over and instead we'll move over to the entry content version, which is basically the same thing, um, but I've inserted it at a different point. So the phrasing is the same. You can do the same words, the same fonts, the same background. I chose blue just because it goes with everything that I have on here. It, it's going to be a one you're going to have to work out with your own color scheme more than likely. So now that that one is saved, we'll go ahead and refresh. The other CSS version allows you to have your title and the meta box, <clears throat> and then it's inserted before the text actually starts. So this version, depending on the person, uh, this way they get past your header and they're going to get into your content. I kind of prefer it in, in both locations. It's, it's a kind of a toss up. And then uh, what happens here is this way you're making that clear call out that's conspicuous and stands out before your text ever starts, right? This is what keeps you clear more likely from Amazon and FTC than the other versions. So you could insert it at different points. Like if you had an ad manager software, you could probably put it in here after four paragraphs or what have you. But the problem is, is especially in affiliate marketing, a lot of the times within the first, you know, two to eight sentences, there'll be a, a call to action, especially on a review or a best of, you know, 10 products. There'll be a call to action right away for those people who don't want to read the whole thing and they just want what your number one choice is. So having it at the very top clears you. And I'll put out another one, which will cover uh, the CSS version for pages. The problem with that is that since you, there's two approaches. You can put it on all pages, <clears throat> but then it's going to show up on contact. It's going to show up on about us. It's going to show up on every page. Or you can fire at a specific page and say, I want my resource pages to have it, right? But then you have to come in here and you have to actually <clears throat> so load this page. If you do inspect, most of the time you can actually see the page ID <clears throat> towards the top up here. So you would have to go target code towards page ID 498 for it to run specifically against this page. But then you have to do the same thing on this page, right? So it means every time you add a page, you're going to have to go do a lot more manual stuff and add way more custom CSS to do it, which is why I did the code snippet version. So. On this side, you'll see my code snippets here, right? But if I go to recommended, inside the recommended, hey, look, I've got the disclaimer again, right? So <clears throat> the benefit of a code snippet is it's an injectable. So um, inside here, we can go real quick over here. We'll go to edit. You can kind of see. So the code snippet basically is the same idea, which is you're going to build a function looking at the at the data source and then you I put in two variables which is single covers basically all the blog posts so it'll always be there on a blog post and then if page in array either that number all by itself or you can use your actual names as long as you put them inside the the single quotes so as long as these match your slug then it's going to go on them also so <clears throat> and then this is where you actually adjust your text. So I don't delete out any of this div part. The div allows this affiliate block to be applied to it to give it some of the styling that gives us this look. But you can change this text. And then down here where this um, href section is, this is this where this pound sign is, is where you actually point this towards what page you want this to show up on. So if we said we wanted it to show up on, here, we'll switch over here, right? Let's give it a good example. We'll go grab a URL. So we want it to go to Akavado Basics instead. So all you have to do is come in here and replace just that pound with your location. And then go back through. And then you can hit Save Changes. Because... This is the side effect of a code snippet. You're going to have to do some cleanup of your else, of your of using the snippet on your site to balance it out because 
your page isn't necessarily going to be recommended. It's not going to be number 234. It's not going to have a specific ID that I can call out for everybody. Um, and then your legal information, again, could be a lot of things. It could just be an earnings disclaimer. It could be a whole bunch of different names. So you can change what text you want to be the link and where you want that link to point. So if I come back here now and I go to recommended, you'll see if we reload, what we have is my legal information, and you'll see in the bottom left-hand corner actually takes you to Akabato Basics, which takes you over to here, the actual Akabato Basics. So it's doing what I want to <coughs> based off of the change we just did here. I'm going to put this as a downloadable file because I can actually export out snippets. And once it's exported, once I export it out, it'll be a importable. So if you add code snippets onto your website, you can just click import and you can actually fully import this whole snippet as it stands right here. And then you can update those sections like I spoke about and you can actually customize it for your need. Um, with the code snippet, I'll leave instructions, but that you basically only care to run it on the front end because it doesn't need to run in the admin console so you don't need the extra code running here and then you just want to make sure that it's save changes and activate which is what this button will be right now it just has save changes and deactivate since it's active and then you can customize the display inside here so typically I wouldn't go too crazy on this don't make it small don't make it impossible to read it has to be conspicuous. It has to be called attention to, and it needs to start with at least this part. And that part is like really called out explicitly in the terms of service in, in, in area five. So <clears throat> I'll link to that also, but you can go through and get something in place to make sure you're protected. The side effect of adding that to all of your posts is that technically you don't need the sidebar anymore so you could actually actually come in here and just hide the sidebar so the 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 legal information container you can actually just go over to legal information and just change it to not display and it will go away so what you can do is remove that and start to move these things up for yourself and then you'll get to the point where you won't need them anymore which opens you up to having your terms of service here because the about us doesn't technically need to exist here necessarily because you have the about the writer here and then you should have your about here to link to you kind of like how I did here I would drop it into the bar so like I showed you with the code snippets you can tie them back to these specific sections this is one of those gray zones this is what happens when you drop it in after this contact section though. So that's really kind of the difference in entry content because entry content is this section after the header. If you just do on a post, it'll be above this, but it doesn't show up on the other one. So one second, let me show you real quick. So we'll grab the one that's for the posts and before the posts <clears throat> come back in here, replace that out. Hit update again with that refresh and then see so now it's on the blog post but it's not going to be on the pages so this is where you get into that CSS for pointing at your specific pages because with this one <clears throat> what you have to do is actually go tell it that it only needs to apply on you know this page this page this page but each one of these is going to be a separate entry to cover that I'll list that in the post that will go up later today too, and that way hopefully all of this will uh, be there and helpful for people who are trying to get these all filled in. Um, if you have uh, questions, um, please put them in the comments below. I reply as fast as I can to most of them. Uh, as always, please like and subscribe. If you're interested in Akabato, there's going to be a link <coughs> in the description below. I am an affiliate because I'm part of Project 24. If you do get it, I get a portion of it sent to me uh, for you signing up. So I do appreciate if you click on any of the links for the sign up. Uh, if you have any questions, please, please, please leave them or head over. You can head over to either site. So 
Get Akabato is more about building and uh, making a video about how to completely redesign Akabato's display from the ground up. It's not as much about uh, routing you to anything specific. You can go grab Akabato from the button here or on the actual theme customization I have uh, right here, which I would suggest everybody get the $99 version over the $50 one year version because this is basically yeah two times the cost but it's infinite so you won't have to pay $50 for year two which would put you at $99 so if you're going to use it more than one year there's no point in not paying the $99 and never having to pay again as opposed to spending $50 and having to pay $50 every year if you want to keep using it um, as always I'm interested in any feedback if there's stuff for like Elementor or Divi or other parts of really customizing a, a setup of a page, uh, I would love to get the, the, the feedback. I did come in here and build resource pages that I'm going to go through and make videos on, but the resource page with Elementor is here, kind of showing how you can actually use Elementor within Akabato to build a page, or you could build the same style using just Gutenberg. Um, and they do look a little bit different. There's a little bit of uh, some font changes that I'm going to do with Elementor to kind of get them to align with each other. But they're here specifically to kind of showcase how you can really build the same thing either way. Uh, a lot of people like Elementor for the drag and drop aspects and Elementor, um, if it's not pro, is free. So you can just click here and download the free version and install it and you can do about 85% <clears throat> of the most solid parts of Elementor. The additional parts are more for building real pages. So if you wanted to be able to put like all of your recent blog posts and other things. So if you were really going to build your own homepage, Pro can help you do a lot more. It also helps you build a header and a footer. So Pro has its place, but it's not necessarily uh, needed for anything. Um, but yeah, I'm, I've got a whole bunch that I'm planning to do this week. Hopefully I should get three or four different ones out. Um, but I wanted to get this one out just due to the emails that had come around and to give everybody a chance to get some protection for themselves in place. Um, please let me know and I'll let you guys go. Thank you again. Have a good day. Bye.